Hey guys, oh, um, got a bit of a review. This has been pretty popular. <laughs> also, I have shares in them. Um, they're little 12 volt ceiling fans. So, I don't know, for those of you seen, we've had them running in our um, roof topper, and then we we have them underneath our awning as well. So we just run a rope across or whatever, and they hang up from the awning. So. Mind you, yeah, obviously you got to worry about your height, but you know it's there, so they're good when you have the swag rolled out underneath the awning if you want to have it opened up, your swag. Um, but awesome in the rooftop. Uh, in the one I had, the Darcy one, I don't know about others, so I could sit up and it wasn't hitting me head, you'd still think about it because it is a ceiling fan, <laughs> but it is any 12 volts, so yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have been asking about them, so I'll give you a bit of a rundown on them. Um, I'll leave a link. I think it's about 16 bucks is the cheapest I can find them. When I first got them, oh, six or so months ago plus, they were only about $12, $13, but they're probably going up now because of how many people are wanting them. But um, yeah, so 16 bucks, I'll leave a link in it. It's just an eBay store link, so yeah. Um, you can have a look around for a cheaper one, but that's the cheapest one I could find for you. Um, they are what they are. They are any cheap, um, but they're pretty well made, you know. They're not too bad for how much you pay. You got a little hanger there, um, yeah, and that obviously spins around. Um, they just come with alligator clips, baby ones, so I'd suggest uh, cutting them off and you know putting big ones on there, or you could hardwire it, or better yet, if you wanted to, put your own um, cigarette lighter plug on it. So yeah, that's all they come with though. They do have a little switch. Uh, it's just an on-off switch. That's all it is. Uh, no speed. Um, just one speed and pretty much all these do is they just clip in so you just push these in They won't come out. They do take a bit to get in there, but I guarantee you they don't come out or mine have never come out So they push in there like that and that's it So they say 500 millimeters. That's what they reckon on the back of the blades Do you have an idea like you know, that's that's pretty how big they are. That's close to my face. So it's decent size, like when they hang up, they, they go, they pump out the wind. I'd hook it up, but you're not going to really see how much wind it pumps out. But no, they do put out a lot of wind. And the best thing is, is 0.7 of an amp. So it's not even one amp, it's drawing. So it's pretty, like, pretty good, very good actually. So we run two of them, like I said. A couple underneath the awning if we want to. Uh, did them in the roof topper. Obviously can't really do it in the swag now, a bit too low, but uh, you can have them in a, a decent tent, um, anything like that, and yeah, well, they weigh next to nothing, so they're not going to put too much stress if you hang them off a tent, you know, if you've got a little hook. The only thing I will suggest is when they start up, they really kick in, you know, and sometimes if this isn't attached properly, it'll twist, but yeah, you just want a nice solid point holding it, so when it starts, the whole thing doesn't want to go and turn on you, you'll know what I mean, if you've had them or when you get them, but yeah. That's her, 12 volt ceiling fan. Oh, too easy, any questions? Yeah, let us know and all right, we'll get back to you. All right, catch us.